Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to install AI on Burpsuit Community Edition as well as Professional Edition for free without using of the, any of the AI credits. As you can see, AI features are only available for Burpsuit Professional only and I am on Community Edition and as you can see I will just enter a prompt to this AI, create a post request to example.com slash burpai uh, with uh, the body of this and then I will just send it and it will automatically create a request for me. It can do a lot of things such as automatically filtering the requests, creating like the bandas, uh, creating some kind of intruder requests. I will allow for this chat and you, as you can see it created a post request to slash burp AI on example.com with body of please subscribe to zero day gym and then i can send this request and of course it's forbidden because slash burp AI doesn't exist but you get the point and you can see it automatically named the repeater the tab to post to burp ai as you can see it's pretty cool um and i'm gonna show you how to set it up for free and let's jump right into it so here we are in my terminal and the first thing that we will do is install this burp mcp server extension um, and we will configure the burp suit with mcp server so uh, as you can see we are on this github um, you can just type into google burp suit mcp server and it will pop up and here are the installation steps so just copy this git clone and then git clone the burp suit mcp server here and then it will clone in just a second for me uh, then i will uh, cd to mcp server uh, directory here and then to build it, just type in dot slash gradle uh, w, and I will just copy this command from their GitHub to so gradle w embed proxy jar, right? And it will automatically create all of the files for us here. Uh, it will create a burp suit extension that we will install into community edition in just a second. And then it will create something called MCP server uh, in the in another file that we will use to set up uh, Kaido with. Uh, not Kaido, Cla Claude with, because this uh, extension works with Claude AI. Uh, so the second thing that we will want to install is uh, Claude uh, on desktop for Linux. It works for any operating system, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, if you want to install for Mac and Windows, you will have to go to Cla uh, Claude, install, uh, desktop, something like that and then download Claude here and it has the download instructions for uh, Mac OS and Windows but it doesn't have for Windows here but there is a pretty good uh, github uh, repo for it so it install Claude desktop Claude desktop Linux something like that and we can see that there is this Claude desktop for Debian based Linux uh, builds so you can just git clone this as well as we can see build is successfully finished here i will also git clone this so git clone claude desktop debian and it cl uh, clones uh, pretty quickly for me here i will just cd to claude desktop debian here and then i will run dot slash build dot sh and it will automatically build for me uh, the claude uh, desktop uh, application that i can install with the sudo app install so let's just wait for it to finish installing. Let me go back to Burp Suit and then go to the extensions tab and then click on add extension. Uh, you can see that there is this extension file.jar. Just so just click select file and then I will just go to my home directory. So home, uh, Kali videos, um, over here. Uh, then I believe Burp AI, MCP server. And then to install the extension, you will have to go to build then uh, libs and then you will see this burp mcp all jar extension so double click on it and click on next and close and as you can see a burp mcp all extension has been installed and burp mcp server is now running on burp suit you can go ahead and uh, let's see output everything is fine it's running here and you can see that there is this mcp tab and we can see that the server is running on port uh, 9876 uh, on our local host so we can check if it's running successfully by typing it uh, by typing in curl localhost uh, port 89867 and slash sse and we can see that it's uh, running if you see this output like with data message session id something something uh, it really doesn't matter but if you see this you're good to go then uh, as we 
we might have seen before, our cloud desktop has installed for us. So sudo apt install this cloud. Let, let's just uh, not typo here and then uh, enter the password. All right. And uh, I will have to type in dot slash cloud desktop because I will have to install it. I have already installed it on my system here. Uh, so I will just run cloud dash desktop command i cannot type at all today uh let's wait for the cloud to run you will have to log into your cloud with your account i have already logged in so let me just go here and i will have to just fix the font a little bit it's a bit buggy on uh, linux especially if you're using the i3 uh, as i am so let me go to uh this triple like uh, three lines here and then click on developer and you will have to uh, enable developer options i have already enabled them i will uh, actually i will just delete them so let me go to cd uh, slash dot con config slash cloud uh, cloud like that and then i believe i have to delete this config file so remove this config file and i will restart cloud uh not burp suit Cloud, and then I will launch it again. I will just close out here, cloud desktop like that, and then go go to the cloud uh, installation here. The, then click on these three live lines, click on developer, and I still cannot uh, seem to enable it. So let me actually just pause the video, remove cloud from my computer, and then I will go come back uh, once I have once i can just uh, showcase everything step by step all right so i have reinstalled cloud for me uh for my uh, computer and then i will just click on these three lines uh, click on help and then enable developer mode here and then click on enable and it will restart for you with the developer mode enabled so just wait for it to load and then click on these three lines again and as you can see there's this developer tab open mcp log file and uh, it is running just fine so now let's close Claude and then uh, close it here as well. Let's see that it close. I think it did. So uh, go to your home directory. So cd slash home slash califormy.config and then cd to Claude like that. And as you can see, there are all of these files. But uh, one file is missing for us. So let's launch Claude desktop again. Uh, Claude dash desktop like that then go back to cloud and then click on these three lines then click on i believe uh file settings then developer and then click on edit config and it will automatically create a config file for you that you can edit so let me just close everything here close cloud for this time uh, this time for now and then we can see this cloud desktop config.json i will just open it in vim cloud uh, desktop and i will delete everything on the file go back to the burp suit uh, mcp server extension on their github and then go down and copy this json file so just copy this and paste it we will have to change some, some things on this file here so first of all we will have to change the command so it will have to include our java version that we have installed burp with so just delete this from command and then type in which uh, java and it will show you the java installation that you the java path that you are uh, have installed java on so it is for me user bin java i will just paste it here like that then arguments dash jar it's fine then we have to uh, uh, give it the path to our mcp proxy server so delete everything here and to find it it will be on the uh, path that you have installed your mcp server on like the burp extension so go to mcp server folder here and then go to this libs directory so cd libs like that and then we can see that there is this mcp proxy all.jar so i will just uh give it a path to where is it uh it is slash home slash cali slash videos i will just copy everything from here like that like that and then slash and then this file here mcp proxy all.jar 
let me just make sure I don't have typos in my command. So I will just copy everything here. Uh, Java dash or just I will just do ls on this file and it is there so I don't have any typos and then your uh, and then here we will have to configure our SSC URL that we have set up in our burp suit previously so just delete everything here it will be HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 uh, colon 9876 and then save it uh, it's here if you want to check so go to mcp uh, tab on your uh, burp suit and then you can see the server host and server port great now just save the file and exit it and now launch uh, the cloud uh, for uh, for the fi finale to try it with burp suit so type in just to cloud cloud desktop like that and then uh, go back to your burp suit and we can see that it doesn't work why doesn't it work because we don't see these hammers here uh there should be like a hammer icon and some other icon as well if it doesn't work for you then you will have to restart your computer so i will just restart my vm here and then it will work for me so i will be back in just a second all right so i have restarted my virtual machine and as we can see i am back on my burp suit make sure your mcp server is running right here and now i will just open open cloud desktop uh, i will just go back here and then i will just type in cloud dash desktop like that and then go back to your burp suit and then uh, if you see this hammer here and you see 21 mcp tools are available this means that your mcp server is successfully connected so let's try it out so create a request to repeater uh, to go to uh, youtube.com like that let's see if it works let's wait for it to finish creating the prompt and then i hope in just a second we will find out that it does work let's see repeater yep it created a request to youtube.com and it named it youtube requests so as i told you you can do a lot of things with it you can check out all of the mcp tools available it can do a lot of stuff like basics for encode decode create a repeater tab let's see there are a lot of other stuff here uh, get proxy history so maybe it can parse some history you can get creative with it so send the intruder uh, you can get creative with it and you can be a lot of more productive with uh, yeah, the artificial intelligence helping you along the side of you hacking and it is completely for free as you can see I'm on community edition and yeah so one last note before ending the video if it does not work for you if it says like could not connect to the server uh, go to your uh, file here settings then go to developer and then let's see burp here and we can see command and arguments so i will just copy the command here and then uh, i will uh, actually it is not uh, i will just close the cloud it i don't need it now so i will have to run the uh, mcp server to test it out so let me just go to uh burp mcp server github here and then just click on this link scroll down we can see this test command here so uh java dash jar uh so let's go to libs so to libs i believe yeah where our proxy server is so java dash jar this proxy server http localhost 9876 and then if it doesn't work for you you can just try to uh, remove the extension and load it uh, freshly from your from the file that we have we have installed previously if it's just successfully connected to the ssc server it should work with cloud for you so you can just start cloud i can start it by doing this cloud cloud like this and as we can see it perfectly works with our burp suit enabled with these mcp tools so that is really cool and i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i hope you managed to set it up and please subscribe if you liked it and uh, we will see in the next one goodbye